Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is the Citadel server. We're hanging out here in the iron farm that we've been working on for the last couple of weeks. It's fully functional. We are getting blocks of iron. We are getting poppies, red dye, pink dye, and white dye. And I want to start the count again today. So I think what I might do is actually empty these out completely. And then we'll just start from zero and see what we get by the end of the stream. So I'm going to grab some of this stuff and throw that in the chest out back just to kind of see what we can do as far as uh, the proportions of the die. Sweet Sandy, good to see you. Grandpa Crafter, Cosmic Dancer, thanks for the lurk. Dan, hello. Hope you're all having a good Saturday so far. I am currently full of pancakes and coffee, as one should be on a Saturday. That's empty, that's empty, that's empty. This is going to be trickier. Should probably just... Do I have a box full of stuff here? Oh, I'll just do this. I can't wait to get rid of the item frames. <laughs> They're so hard to click around. I don't know where this redstone in my inventory has come from, so I'm a little nervous I've ruined something somewhere. There we go. We've got zero across the board. Currently it is roughly nine minutes. We'll say ten minutes after the hour just to make it easy. Uh, this is my local time. Empty. Just, I'm curious to see how much is coming in and in what proportions they're coming in. Why no Nook? Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Good time to jump in. We just started the stream. Why can I not? There we go. Why is this not letting me th throw stuff out? There we go. I just want some space. We're just in the middle of testing our iron farm poppy and die capabilities. We decided to empty it. Clean slate. We'll see what's up. What are we up to on stream today? Really appreciate you sending over your viewers. Thanks for the support. I think my hand is just on the wrong hotkey. No problem was letting my son and nephew stream so I could have been anything. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Uh, well, we have been working on this iron farm for a few weeks, uh, for anybody that's new. The iron golems are spawning up there with some villagers and a zombie, and then they get melted in our little melting pot here. And then underneath, we've got a bunch of redstone that separates out uh, poppies, red dye, pink dye, and white dye, and also makes iron blocks. And we've also been landscaping around here. And... Um, I'm leaving this little chunk of rock, which I like. But we've been chopping down this mountain, which was uh, very, very blocky and not very good looking. So we're, we're getting there. It's, it's not bad. I think it could, it could use a little smoothing maybe over on this side. And we run into some issues here where we have to uh, leave some blocks because that is actually the, the ceiling inside. Uh, and then we also have the exposed farm here and i think the first thing i want to try and do just to switch gears a little bit is try to add some more decor here so that we can see more of the moss farm and expose it and i think that might be more fun than just doing the landscaping so after i take a couple of blocks here i think we can probably back this up a bit It's a little square. On this side. Yeah, maybe this whole thing just needs to get lower.
That's a little bit better. I think maybe we'll just curve it in here. Uh, DJ Crazy Gaming, hello, welcome in. How's it going? Just doing a little decoration on the cliffs here, trying to make it look nice. Definitely some landscaping work will have to be done here to make this look a little bit better. I think that's a cool view when you're coming down this path. Frames it fairly nicely. The real pickle. Hello, hello. Void presence. So it turns out the Lego Notre Dame set that I ordered arrives the same day as Satisfactory 1.0. Wow, you're going to be a very busy dude that day. Mix screw gun, hello, hello. Uh, you redeemed a highlighted message. That's why it went bright green. Or bright purple, I guess, for me. So along here, I think we're pretty good. I feel like I maybe have too much of a top on this. I think maybe I can take the first two layers up there and remove them. I can focus on, on this sort of section. And that'll carve this back a bit too. That looks pretty good. A little square on that side. Man, this free cam really makes landscaping like this a lot easier. Let's go sleep. I guess I can turn shaders off. Get my frame right back. Uh, 
Uh, what's been going on? I just started school. You've missed everything. Uh, we did a Spawn Chunks recording this week. Talked about the latest snapshot. We did a Citadel Cafe recording this week. And that is where we talked about Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. And those are both available now on YouTube as well as your favorite podcast app. We've been catching up on Satisfactory, so we are just about through all of our notes. I think I'm pretty comfortable updating my save to 1.0 when it comes out on September 10th. And we will be streaming on September 10th at noon, which is a little bit sooner than my normal time. My normal time is 1 o'clock. I don't normally stream on Tuesdays anyway, but uh, the last couple weeks, pardon me, we've been putting out extra streams on Tuesdays for Satisfactory. So that's what's coming up. Uh, I will be probably... I mean, I'll be at the computer watching the dev stream and I'm not exactly sure if I can start the stream right at 12 because I'm going to have to download and install the game first. So I don't know what that's going to look like. All right. I feel like that's pretty good. I might want to pull that back even more. Yeah, so this level here. And we can refine it a little bit more later too. Obviously I'll need to add some on that side. I'm mostly focused on the front right now and the basic shapes. And I think the only thing I need to do is maybe tweak this corner. Yeah, feels a little flat, but this will change depending on what we do here. The other thing I want to do is turn on the, the moss farm so we can actually see what's happening. That's actually the inside of our redstone room too. So we don't have a lot of wiggle room out this way either. Came in and looked at this earlier while I was grabbing some moss. Love the new design. Thanks very much. Glad you like it. It's always nice to work on something like this because it is a, a server farm. And so other people on the server will see it on a regular basis. I think it's cool. All right, maybe we'll just get rid of this dirt so it's not such an eyesore. Because we're going to have to figure out what's going on in here and how much of this I want to see.
that's full. Do I have Indesite? Don't remember where the ladder came from. And the dirt is pretty much full. So we should probably go empty that in the nether a little bit. Again, I don't know where the redstone came from, but I'll put it back. Those are all things we'll need. I don't think I'm going to need redstone I might if I break part of the farm wouldn't mind having some room in some of these shulker boxes and site so we'll go empty some of these in the nether I didn't need to put that much in there, but whatever. That has more room. That has more room. I think we're good now. Kind of full circle, the moss farm is what you're building when I first started watching the streams. Really, McScrewgun? How long ago was that? Three years? So the way that this works is there is some lava uh, over there that's controlled with trapdoors uh, and water, and it creates a constant stone generation. And we've got bone meal that turns the um, bone meals that moss block and then turns the stone into moss the moss then gets broken when the floors shift and you can see a divide right there that water stream so everything from there backwards gets sent up into the system and put back into the bone meal so it feeds itself and then the rest of it gets sent here and goes underneath the ground where I'm standing and eventually comes in here and gets sorted so I can actually show you I scooch back here. 
Uh, this is where the items come in from the moss farm. And they go around the corner here. They go up this elevator. And this is here just for decoration, just so we can see it working. And then they go upstairs. And this is the top of that elevator. And they go across sorting systems here. So this is like your typical um, item sorter. I think there's another hopper up there. Yeah, so moss, uh, saplings, um, moss carpet, all that kind of stuff. And they get spit out into these um, cobwebs, which groups them up. And then eventually, after five or six seconds, they get into the water stream. That gets spit into the honey block wall. And then downstairs, just down this way, you see the items slowly come down and go into the hoppers at the back. And so we get moss, saplings, and carpet. And then the other part of it was meant to be like an overflow, but it's never overflowed. So this was supposed to be turning everything into bone meal and have like a bone meal farm as well as a moss farm. But I think what I want to do is I want to see if there's a way for me to actually just turn it on and have it be a 100% bone meal farm and not a moss farm from time to time. So while we're exposing this and decorating it, I think I also want to change the overflow system uh, to be something I can switch. And I think the next level is where the overflow system is. Yeah, so... What happens is these these hoppers are not fast enough for just how much stuff comes out of there. And so anything that overflows, I have going around in a loop. So it gets sent around the corner here and goes up in a loop. But there's also somewhere um, a hopper minecart that is below something somewhere I think it's here I feel like there's a hopper minecart there and I think it's not above us is it no that's just that's the return shoot so the, the stuff gets shot around here hits this glass pane and drops back in and goes back around. So that's a loop. It's down here. Yeah, there's hopper minecarts to take care of the overflow. But I don't know if it ever overflows. So I guess the first thing I want to do is turn it on. And also, I feel like we need to have a better switch. Like right now... The switch to turn this on is way back here. Like this is the on switch. So I'm not entirely sure where I can put it. I feel like maybe we can stick it in this wall somewhere. It feels strange to have it back here. We could. This might be the more logical place. We could just go down and underneath everything. Hi there, welcome back. Low 88, good to see you. Subbed for 40 months, says Mixture Run, so a little longer than that. Uh, did not sub right away, probably three and a half years because I was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Health thing. March, April time frame. Oh, wow. So yeah, three and a half years, that's wild. All right, well, let's turn it on and just see what happens. So this pushes the piston out on the wall. Observer sees that and sends a signal all the way down to the moss farm and it starts doing stuff. And you can see there's a lot of things that come through here. 
It's unfortunately not super quiet. So we go downstairs. We'll see things slowly going down the wall. It's unfortunate that they disappear right there. I could have had the hoppers a little bit lower, maybe. I could remove this top um, this top set of hoppers and just have these bottom ones, because we I don't know if we ever really get to this. If we just had two double chests for everything, I think that would be fine. So that could be another thing we do to make it look nicer. But I'm not hearing anything happening back here, which means nothing is getting around the edge here. Yeah, nothing is really getting past all that one around. So nothing's going up over that at all. So what we could do is we could have some sort of direction change here. That would allow these items to then go straight along and into the hoppers. Now this, I can't remember what this is for. I feel like it's a fail-safe circuit. I'm pretty sure that this measures the fullness of the hopper. And if the hopper downstairs is full at the back of the wall, so at the back of the back of the honey wall, there's a hopper down there. And if that hopper gets full, I think that this piston extends and shuts down that particular module. Pretty sure. Let me just double check here. Yeah, we've got comparators reading the hopper through the block. So if that hopper ever filled up, then that, that clock up there, that observer clock would stop and all the moss blocks would go by. Actually, it doesn't even have to fill up. It just has to have one thing in it. So. If this hopper fills up and this hopper fills up, then this will lock and it'll stop coming in. And all this is, is just observers that when the, when the log block touches the leaf block, it sets a chain of, of, of updates to the observer up there. It's actually a pretty slick, slick thing. But it obviously comes in at a pretty pretty fast rate uh, Tor GB I get the sensation that you have seen the Minecraft trailer yeah so it, there's a bit of a, a bottleneck here but that just makes that stuff work a lot easier they don't stay there for too too long they start to be affected by the water before they actually get out of the... See how they start to move forward? You'll notice like once it gets close enough to the water, it'll actually start to move out this way before it gets out of the cobweb. And then... Pop! Off it goes. I'm not... Not hearing anything over here. Okay, so what we'll do, uh, I need, this is stripped dark oak, green glass, and 
I guess I have to figure out... I don't really see anything coming along this, this backup um, loop. Doesn't seem to be doing much. I'm not seeing anything come along here. So the only other thing I could think of would be to lock all those hoppers. And I don't know the best way to do that. I guess we could have redstone along this log. I don't know if that would lock a hopper or not. That would be that log there. It might lock that hopper. So this is just powering the dropper. That's what that's doing. Probably periodically locking that hopper too. See, they do get 64, like they do get filled up. So it's producing faster than those, than the hopper speed. So that's why I've got this kind of quick exit. Okay. Uh, check the back. Oh, you know what? I think I took Meadow. I think I took the water out of the back of the loop. I think you're right. I think I took the water out of the back of the loop yesterday. Yeah, I did. Still, though, that's not a lot for what's been happening so far. Thank you, Meadow. So what's happening there is that these are grabbing um, the items through the logs and then it's being distributed not evenly, just like it's one hopper minecart per hopper. So it's just a matter of how much is happening. And then that is slowly making bone meal. It's mostly going to be the front two because uh, these other ones are not going to fill up. And I don't remember what I've got for the way that the hoppers are pointed back there. Yeah, it's mostly going to be the front two. What I could do, and I feel like I tried this before, I could take the minecarts and have them go, the minecart hoppers, and have them go over the two hoppers. So there seems to be a fair bit. Like I said, it's a very noisy place. It's mostly like little seeds and stuff that'll get by because there's no filter for seeds. We don't keep the seeds. And I like the look of this, so maybe what we'll do is eliminate this top thing. I mean, I guess it's here for a failsafe. It's never going to really, it's never really going to be a thing. Because I, I think that these are going to be so fast that it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, I'm, I wonder if I tried that before. Does anybody remember if I tried putting one hopper minecart over the course of both hoppers? I might have. Either way, we're making bone meal. That's with, that's with not even trying. That's just 
letting the overflow happen. I do like this farm. Okay, I'm going to need... Uh, spare shulker. I don't need the stone. Well, I may need some stone. I'm going to need some redstone, probably. Some dark oak, spruce. Green glass. Probably more than that. Trying to think about what else was out there as far as design goes. It's mostly the glass and stuff I was worried about. Right, if I need anything else, I'll have to come back. So seeing as this is exposed, I feel like we can just add the glass in along here. I don't think that would be a bad thing. Um, I think I've used moss blocks there. Could use a log too. We'll go with moss blocks. We can probably just grab some here. That looks like what I've done there. Now I don't know why that's there. I think I was hiding that. I feel like here I was meant to kind of bury this a little bit. So that kind of gets exposed there. And we'll worry about some of this stuff after. I feel like... Hmm... How do I want... I guess I could do logs on the on one side and then glass on the other. That would probably make sense. I'm not sure how high that goes up. It does have a funny rhythm, yeah, the, 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 it almost has like a bit of a dance to it. No, oh, that's fine. to check the hoppers for stuff that I don't want to go into bone meal. There might be some stone in there. Um, 
I feel like that's going to look pretty good. Maybe not that top one. Maybe we'll get for this. Got a funny feeling that there's some stuff in there that does not belong. There we go. How we doing? I mean, more than two stacks of bone meal. It's not crazy because it's not focused, but it's pretty cool. I guess I should have brought spruce. do it up here we use dark oak up there I'll go with spruce because spruce is what the moss farm is using When the chests are full of moss stuff, uh, the composters won't keep up. Um, I think that's what the overflow is for, Sandy. So if the if this whole farm kept going, then what would happen is everything in the next level would loop around. So if this if these are all full and locked then if these don't get sucked up then it goes up over and then drops right here and goes back around so items would just despawn or they would get they would just kind of go around right there's four composters i don't remember how many are over there it looks like there's also four composters and that t four composters are good with just a little over a third of the farm. So two thirds of the farm are coming in here. So it, it, you're right. They probably can't keep up, but I don't know if it's really the end of the world. I may turn this off while we're working on it just because. Yeah, let's turn it off. I think the reason we have a switch for it and it's not on all the time is because uh, loading and unloading and stuff will mess up the trapdoors out there, the um, the water stuff there. If that gets messed up, that's a real pain to fix all that. Call it the TikTok farm, yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty loud. So we do have the logs out this way.
guess that looks okay. Maybe we'll put some trapdoors on it. So I like that this little bit is exposed, although it looks a little bit ugly underneath here. So I think I might want to do some parts through here. And also, which one of these blocks could I power to then lock the hopper? Because the hopper is there. So I could just run redstone line along here, right? Is there one more? We've got one, one, two, three, four, five. So if I ran a redstone line here, that would lock those hoppers, I think. That or into the block in front of them. And that would force everything into bone meal if I ever wanted to. And I think that's a good way to do it. And then I could just have a control for that switch somewhere, I guess downstairs. It's hard to send redstone signals vertically. It's the only thing. I could maybe do something here with walls. Leafstone, yeah, that's true. That's what I've done there on the back there. And we do have the new copper block or copper bulbs for T flip flops. So I could do that. What is this? This is fifty eight three hundred. So can't do that it has to be back here somewhere like 70 61 probably well i don't want to deal with the three oh three hmm i might have to use this wall and move the elevators Cause I could do that. I could have a signal come up from the basement. Basically. Right through here. And that's what we would want, right? I would, I guess the solution would be Redstone along here. And if it gets a signal from something, my guess is that that's a lock topper. Yeah. 
or not. Oh, but that powers... That did something below. That triggered the clock below. I think. Wow, these are all full. So why are these not going anywhere? I'm a little confused as to why. I guess, well, th these are all locked. So it's only... Oh, it's only when the filters are active that this gets unlocked. Right. Right, 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 right. But that's all we would need is just a signal here. I think maybe one thing I could do to eliminate the problem of powering stuff below here. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why. Don't know why that did that. It shouldn't update any blocks. Because those observers are facing into each other. Right, it's because this got an update, it triggered the torch below, but it's not draining. Right, 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 right. So no new stuff would come in beyond whatever a stack would be. It would fill up to a stack, I think. How much is in there? 41. Yeah. So it would fill up until it hit 64 and then it would turn into bone meal. And that's fine. I don't think that that's a big deal. Oh, I could do all kinds of stuff here. I could have I could have repeaters pointing into each hopper and just have this line go along the side there, but I don't think it's a big deal. That would be the tidier way to do it, and I may still do it that way. Um, I just then have to get that sig. This signal has to come up from downstairs somewhere, and more than likely, where is that going? It's going to be in this wall. Which means I need to move. It's probably going to be here that we'd have to do that, which is too bad because I kind of like the look of this room. But it's going to make more sense. But anyway, uh, I need to take a short break. Um, I need to uh, do a couple things around here and give myself a stretch, reheat the coffee. Uh, if you're new to the stream, I do take a break once an hour, and it is that time now. You can grab a friend, let them know that we're live. You can also share the tweet or the Instagram post that's out there. And uh, I'll be back in, normally it's five or six minutes. I might need just a little bit extra today. So I'll be back in between um, five and 10 minutes. So just hold tight, chat amongst yourselves. I will be right back.
Back. Back at it. Thank you, Sandy. Ulam Cole, hello. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. So I think I'm going to get the function down first, and then I'll do the, the decorating after. And... Like I said, it really feels like we're going to have to use this wall. So this could be the bow meal switch right here. Aha! We'll have to... Uh, See what we can do here. Yeah. So we'll use this space. Uh, fifty nine three oh four. Which means we'll have to adjust a few things. Maybe we should do 305 instead. I can move this ladder anywhere. I just don't want to have to adjust this water column. I'd like to keep this where it is. So that could be the redstone. We'll just move the ladder here for now. And I think what I would want to do is probably use repeaters just to have it be tidier. And then that would come up here. Ooh, okay, so we gotta be careful there. That's why I wanted to clear that out. Uh, we don't want to run the redstone over the pistons. Let's run it over here. And I'll use a log, I think. Why is that constantly going? Did he spit out his piss his block? Is that what happened? Why are you on? Weird. I hope this doesn't mess up my filter system. I should probably also put these on logs. And then we can just connect this to here, I guess. I 
Now, do I remember how to do the whole leaf thing? It looks like it's just an observer. So we would have an observer facing down. that would have to spit out into something that would make a constant signal so we'd have to have probably a copper bulb there what did I use over here it just goes into a block But that then gets picked up and turned into a signal. Right. <laughs> yeah, I tend to fall off stuff a lot. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, this will go along here. Like that. This will probably be a comparator. And then this will be a copper bulb. It's the only way I can think of doing it. We can try with just a regular block, but I'd imagine a copper bulb is probably the better way to go. It would also be a visual indicator up there that the bone meal thing is on. These don't have auto close. I just went all the way around. And I don't really need to. Alright, we can try a block. So, observer goes there. No. All the way around. And then we do leaf blocks all the way down to the bottom. And then the control would control a piston down here that would push up a leaf block. Yeah, sticky piston that pushes up a log into a leaf block. So, a sticky piston and some leaves. Might as well use azalea leaves. I'm sure we've got them hanging around. Do re leaf blocks reach that far? Uh, that's a good question. The other thing we could use is a wall block. So, leaves are the easiest one. Uh, there is a limit. It might be eight. I don't know what the limit is. Let's go down here, actually. I was going all the way around before, and if I go down here, I can actually get access to the elevator faster. Sticky piston. Lever for now is fine. So, lever would be on whatever block. I guess something like that. And on the back, I don't know if I need a log. Now, sticky piston. And a log. 
log block. This may not work. Nope. It has to be directly on that. Can make it look nicer later. But I think that's okay for now. And so we'd want to do... Not that block. We'd want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, is it just going to be out of range? So I think it's eight, and this is nine leaf blocks. It's only six. Well, that will be that will be a deciding factor that we may have to use walls. And that might be really tricky because we don't have the actual space to do the walls. Um, yeah, okay. I would say that that's not doing anything. I may actually want to replace this because this way we'll be able to see whether something works or not. Uh, a second observer somewhere in the middle? That might work. That might work. might work. So what did I say? That was nine. One, two, three. Nope, I don't think that works. Unless I'm just not reading this right at all. Okay, so that, when the observer gets an update, that actually works, right? So it's, our signal strength is just not reaching it. Yeah. So... I could just do, it's only a few observers. I could do whatever this is. I think I have it on right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I could just do observers the rest of the way. It's brute force, but it should work. Although now I've got it backwards, don't I? Well, 
Bone meal, engage. Survey says... Yeah, so... It wasn't far enough with the Leafs, but I mean, whatever. It's endgame server, an extra three observers is not the end of the world. Change the top leaf block to a wood block. I, you mean you think that the wood would pick up on the change in leaves and create a, like a 12 distance? I don't know if that would work. One way to find out. Well, I guess I could probably try it upstairs. What biome are we in? Windswept hills. That's why everything looks weird. So the idea was to add, I guess I have to turn this off first, don't I? Okay, that's off. So that is the end of the six. So you were suggesting that I put an observer here and then or are you thinking another observer on that log and then do that you think that'll work i don't think that'll work Yeah, I'm sure there's probably a way to extend it, but it probably involves like another piston or something else. That's fine. I think the observer is a decent decent solution. Okay, so the question then is, if I turn the farm on, we'll watch the stuff fly around. So everything's coming in. And most of it's getting swept up, but obviously some stuff gets thrown around, right? Some stuff is coming around and it's mostly, I'd say mostly moss blocks and seeds. And I guess that's because some of these are just full. Yeah, the moss comes in faster, right? The moss gets filled up super fast. So now if we go downstairs and we say bone meal focus, put everything on bone meal. That should lock all the hoppers. We're still going to have some stuff being filtered because of the, the, the backlog. But now everything should just be going straight by. Which looks correct. All getting picked up. I don't see anything? It's getting into the second and third 
hoppers or hopper minecarts. It's really just focusing on that first one. All the droppers are going, right? Even though this is the only one that has anything in it. The bottleneck is hopper speed. So really, I need to try and distribute this, I think, evenly over the four hoppers. So a hopper minecart going back and forth might be better. I mean, it is pretty... Whoops, crap. Ah, uh, that went in somewhere. I think that... I don't know if I got that or not. I could also exchange this for one of these which is much faster. So we, we could change this to a much faster clock, which could also help too. Would not make the place any quieter, that's for sure. Thing is, when the first hoppers are filled, it spills over to the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like if this hopper fills up, which it won't, right? The problem is it's, it's not the hopper, it's the hopper minecart. So this sucks things out really quickly but then we don't have a way to get them out of the hopper minecart quickly into this. So the bottleneck is the hopper speed, right? But it's not filled up even the second hopper. Like now we'll probably get, if anything that's not one of these items and really we might not ever see it go to the fourth. My problem is wondering if there's a lot of stuff sitting on top of the hoppers here. Oh, I guess I got the copper bulb. I mean, that's going pretty fast. These are a lot less full than what's happening up there, right? It just doesn't look as cool because, of course, it's not all coming down across the board. It's all focused on this side. I think eventually all four would go. I don't think I need all four rows going, no. I think the idea that I designed this three years ago was that Fourth, the fourth row was like, that's all we'll need, right? We don't need all of them. And the thing is, we could also compact this into... We could change the storage here and use a, um, a crafter and turn the bone meal into bone blocks. So we really wouldn't even need all of this. The problem is that right now, my mechanism for turning on the farm is behind all of this for some reason and really what i think i need to do is i need to um curve this redstone line and have it maybe be next to next to that or or here somewhere i think would be the best it's weird i kind of want the button to turn it on to be here but it's a long way We're getting a little overwhelmed. So my concern would be if this was left going for a while, that there'd be a lot of items hovering there waiting to go into here. Right? One solution down here could be a hopper minecart going back and forth. So that would spread things out. Right? Could just have a bunch of powered rails going and have a hopper minecart going back and forth. Although, 
I guess I'd have to have that hooked. To, well, I can have it hooked off of this signal too. A lot of the customization here really depends on me moving the on switch for the MOS farm, which is currently here. Either way, it seems to be working. Again, it's just loud. Yeah, there's only ever one thing in the hopper. It's these. It's really the hopper minecarts that are the bottlenecks. Huh. It's very loud. I think this is just like when the dropper kind of spits off to the side a little bit. I think that this, because it's not a straight line. I do remember this now, a little bit of deja vu, wanting it to go across all four, but it's only going on the one side. Thing is when the first first topper fill up it spills over to the second yeah so I could change that I could change the mechanism up top instead of having four hopper minecarts let's turn this off for now guess I should turn the whole farm off Missed the ladder. Right, so that's fine. That worked. These are all now off. I didn't disturb any of this, which is good. And then this is just going to go through its cycle of emptying stuff because that hopper minecart up here is going to steadily go down one at a time. So yeah, we could have a hopper minecart up here. I don't know. The only thing I don't know if one hopper minecart would be enough. I feel like I could try to position the hopper minecart so that it is over like two hopper minecarts over the middle of the hoppers, and then it might distribute to the two hoppers. Hesitate to mention this, but there is some way to have a chest minecart on an angled rail. Um, unload wicked fast. You'll have to look it up. I would not even want to try to describe it. It's even... Um, Remembering correctly. Yeah, I, I know there's some tricks like that. Um, I know we need to have hopper minecarts up there under the log. I could try to position the minecarts um, in different positions. I don't know if there's any rails in there or not. Can't see. It looks like there is. Yeah. So there are rails there. So the trick would be to use a wall and nudge the hopper minecart in between. The 
the bottleneck is the hopper is not the hopper minecart. Uh, well, there's enough items coming in that the hopper minecart fills up immediately. So I would be curious to see whether I need... Like, we definitely need the two hopper minecarts. So I don't think one going back and forth would necessarily do it. Because one hopper minecart going back and forth is still only ever going to distribute one item at a time. Maybe two into those. And this had, like, stacks. But I feel like I would have tried that before. At any rate, there's no harm in trying it now. We'll have to go back and get all of our garbage from down, down below. Uh, I guess I'll just grab that one. And then probably that one. Oh, full. So to move those, all I'd have to do is have a wall, I think. So these are only controlled by, I think, the first one and the last one. So I need to go get a wall. Got to remember that I've got other ways to access my back room. Such a maze. Such a maze. Let's use a mossy wall. That seems like a good idea. Uh, piston to push it. Yeah, I've got some pistons and stuff up, up top. Again, taking a long way. Oh, time to be careful here. What? Where's the water? Is the water over stone or is it all over wood? Okay, so the water is over the wood and the soul sand. I think this should work. It's probably going to power the redstone. That's fine. That is entirely over the wrong block. It's fine. Oh, it moved the... Yeah, it moved the wall. All right, then. That's not what I wanted at all. I might have to get up there. Uh, maybe if I put a wall here. All right, we're going to remove the water. 
Maybe because the rail's there? Oh, you're right. You're probably right. thing is the rail has to be there because if the rail is not there it won't pull from the from the thing above it Can't break that. All right, let's do a test. Nothing in there. Grab those. Nothing in there. So, what if 17 leaf blocks go in here? Pretty evenly distributed, I'd say. That sounded good. And then I don't have anything that's compostable, so we'll just do eight of those. Yep, I think that worked. Don't know if I should bother putting those back or not. It might be worth it to leave that just like that. Uh, I'll go up and check. We've sealed this off. That's all good. Go get the nonsense out of the stuff here. Can't compost a piston. So this should have all four of them going at the same time, I would think. It'll start off on the right-hand side. Uh, thanks, Sandy. Appreciate the heads up. So, foam will focus. Light them up the farm. That's going. Nope, I fell in the water. So yeah, it's favoring that first one. But it's immediately using both instead of just one. This is why I don't think it would be good to have one going back and forth. Sooner or later it's the moss blocks. Because if especially if the moss block is the first thing that comes in here, and 
hearing a couple things going on this other side. Uh, when the carpet and seeds are full in the first one, they will go to the second one. Yeah. There we go. Now we're starting to see the overflow now, right? So now it's going to be all four. So it just takes like a minute or two for it to warm up. And I don't think that these are... I don't know whether this would back up or not. I don't think so. I don't know what a composter speed is. It seems to be just about the same speed as a hopper though. Maybe a little bit slower. Yeah, it's about the same. If anything, for distribution, a hopper minecart down here would probably be a smart idea. But it does not take long to get some decent bone meal going. That's awesome. So I really didn't end up doing a heck of a lot for the aesthetics of the iron farm. It was more focused on the outside of this. And then once those all stop, everything goes back to normal. And of course, this is now off. Cool. It's just loud. So as far as the decoration goes, um, I'll keep this overflow thing just because it looks cool. And what I'll probably do is uh, change the way that the mountain is exposed here. I kind of like this little grassy bit on top. I'll probably just shape it nicer. Uh, have the whole thing be moss. Maybe be a little bit lower so that this is the high point instead of this. And then we'll change some of that structure as well. And then I'll probably create some sort of frame here and put glass there as well. Because I think it's kind of cool to see see that. Um, and I don't want this to be... like It was a straight wall of rock and it looked dumb. And I'd rather have it... If it's going to be a straight wall, I'd rather just be glass and wood. And then from there, we can choose something else. Although I think I might switch uh, this outside frame to bark block. And we'll keep the log flume stuff as stripped dark oak. Yeah, that seems to be what I was doing back here. Okay. We're getting there. It's starting to feel like a very dedicated area, which I like. Yeah, I'm sorry this, this sound. I get desensitized to the clicking, especially when you're standing right next to it. So um, I wish there was a way to muffle it more but uh anyway that's where i'm gonna wrap things up for today folks uh it's been a lovely saturday i hope you're having a, a fantastic day yourself appreciate all the people hanging out in chat today we're gonna pass you along to somebody else playing minecraft i'm gonna look up quickly who might be live usually there's also a couple of comments in my twitch chat or my discord we've got to do 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 Iskal, we've got... Oh, check the die from the farm. Thank you. Yeah, we're almost at the end. I'll do that at the very last second. Uh... False Symmetry, Vault Hunters. We've also got Total Eclipse playing Satisfactory, if you guys want to go that way. Uh, any shoutouts in chat from folks that you'd like me to send you on to? 
while you discuss that among yourselves, I will let everyone know that there is a new episode of the Citadel Cafe out with myself and Johnny from the Spawn Chunks. We talked about the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power season two premiere, the three episodes. It was a fantastic conversation. That's available on YouTube and on your favorite podcast app. And you can also uh, check out the Spawn Chunks podcast. That is uh, available every Monday. We'll be talking about the latest changes, latest snapshot, and of course the Minecraft movie trailer on Monday's show, I'm sure. That's probably going to be our main discussion. You can follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. And you can, of course, subscribe on Patreon to support the stream. It is one of the ways that I make a living and I really truly appreciate all of your support. It's been a fantastic week. Uh, my Sundays are off and I am back on Tuesday, September 10th for the launch of Satisfactory. And I think that you will enjoy that day. Uh, speaking of, let's pass you along to Total Eclipse. He's getting ready for Satisfactory 1.0 as well. I think you will enjoy the rest of your day there too. Cheers. Thanks so much, folks. I will see you later. Bye for now.